Yeah, children. What is meant by double circulation? Okay, children. What is meant by double circulation? So, children, normally this is the heart. Okay, this is the heart. Children, when this comes into the heart, goes to the lungs, again comes back to the heart, goes to all parts of the body. So, before it is going to all parts of the body, entering of blood twice into the heart before the supply to all parts of the body. That is definition. When you get this question, you have the definition diagram at the base. Double circulation, entering of blood twice into the heart. Entering of the blood twice is coming, going lungs, coming back and going. Going lungs and coming back. Okay, entering of blood into the heart twice. Entering of blood okay, twice into the heart before it is supplied to all parts of the body. What are the advantages of double circulation? What are the advantages of double circulation? It helps in proper separation of it helps in proper separation of okay, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Don't try to cure and cure, please children. Lungs will not purify blood. Lungs will purification of blood is done in kidneys. Lungs will only oxygenate and exchange of gases. Okay. Proper separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Number one. Number two, because proper separation is occurring, more energy will be. So because proper separation is occurring, you get more energy. Okay. And, uh, and with this energy, we can also control temperature of the body. We can also control temperature of the body. Diagram is learned from textbook very, very nice. Okay, children, this is called double circulation. What is double circulation? Entering of the blood into the heart twice. Entering of the blood into the heart twice before it is supplied to all parts of the body. If you see fissure, single circulation is the picture. If you see fissure, they have single circulation. What is single circulation, sir? Single circulation means the fissure. Okay, here they will be present. So, fissure will take the water like this. Water will go into the gills. In gills, it will take oxygen and CO2 is kept and it comes out. That's all. It is going and coming out. That's all. This is called single circulation. This is called single circulation. Okay. And because they have single circulation, they get less energy. But they are very, very, very active animals. They have to swim very, very fast. Then how they get that much energy? Okay, therefore, aquatic animals, children, aquatic animals, aquatic animals, they respire vigorously. They respire vigorously. Why they respire vigorously? Means the uh, question is important. Why they respire, aquatic animals respire vigorously? Why aquatic animals respire vigorously? To get more energy. To get more energy. And number two, to take dissolved oxygen. From water. Children, for us, we have free oxygen in the air. For them, they have dissolved oxygen in the water. From water, they have to take oxygen. It is difficult. That's why they will respire vigorously, 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 so that more oxygen will come, so that more energy will come. They can, they can swim very really fast. Okay, children, this is about fission. Any aquatic organisms, they respire vigorously. Why do you To get more energy and to take dissolved oxygen from water. Because in all water, oxygen is present here, children. But for us, in the air, we have free oxygen. Okay, children, if you take frog, in frog, only three chambers are there. In the frog, only three chambers are there. So here, mixing takes place. Oxygenated and deoxygenated with them, mixing takes place. They have only three chambers. Mixing takes place. That's why they get less energy. That's why they get less energy. If mixing don't take place, more energy will come. So what are the advantages of double separation and proper separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood? Therefore, more energy is used. Hence, it also controls temperature of the body. There are then crops and reptiles also, children. Reptiles also, they also have partially divided both the mixing, some mixing takes place. Therefore, they also get less energy. Whereas birds have four chamber heart. Birds, they have four chamber heart. No mixing takes place. Same like as when we have separation. Okay, so, so these are pisces, these are amphibians, these are reptiles, these are apes, and we are mammals. Okay, so like, okay. Thank you, children. I hope you understood.